nice. Except those firebirds are pretty bright. Now I'm seeing spots. But guys, we have covered this before. This is the Fletcher Rifle Works Open Top 1122. Open top because we can just open this top up and be able to clean our bolt, clean our barrel, pull, pull the bolt out, do a lot of maintenance that you wouldn't otherwise be able to do on a 1022 without removing the stock. You can go check that out to find out about the original 1122. But today we have their open top takedown. Now this, of course, looks like a Ruger Twin 22 takedown, but of course it is better because it is the 1122 and it has an open top as well, but it is a railed open top. And yes, this rail is also compatible with the original 1122 open top as well. So we're gonna go over all this today. If you are unfamiliar with a takedown rifle, it is just as easy as slapping the barrel in like that. So it's a great survival rifle. You can throw it behind the seat of your truck or under the seat of your airplane. Not like a commercial airplane. I think that's illegal. Uh, in the backpack, in your ATV, whatever. Nice compact package. And we're going to test it out today. See how our repeatability is. But if you do like cool things like this, you're going to want to check out our sponsor, CollectorFirearms.com. Guys, you can get 20% off everything over at CollectorsFirearms.com for their Black Friday sale from 6 to 9 a.m., 20% off. And then from 9 a.m. until midnight, it'll be 15% off. You can check out their retail locations as well, but they have over 12,000 firearms in stock from flintlocks to full autos. Go check it out. 20% off. You don't want to miss out on that. That'll be collectorsfirearms.com. We thank them for sponsoring this video, and I'm totally going shopping. So the whole concept behind the Fletcher Rifle Works Open Top 22 is 1022s are hard to clean. Okay, we use them at Marksman Camp all the time. They Once you have especially a suppressor, it's going to throw a little bit more gas in there and get a little more build up and to normally clean a 1022 you have to remove the stock remove the trigger pack and then you can finagle your bolt out from underneath and and then do all your cleaning well with this we can just take the top off and now we can really just give it a wipe down and it'll be good to go again if you want to remove the bolt the whole way we can do that as well we can take the bolt out we can we can access everything from the top end so it makes it a lot easier to maintain and for those guys who like to shoot a lot that's important. So I know you're wanting to see it shoot and we're gonna do that right away. This is the Otter Creek Labs Titanium 22 suppressor. I've got several hundred rounds through it and I really like it. We'll go over that in a second. The Tandem Cross magazines totally uh, still fit here. So when you have 30 rounds right here and then the 30 rounds in the Smagpul stock, that's 60 rounds right here in the package. That's hard to argue with. So. We are going to uh, go ahead and load up and do a little plinky plink. Oh, let's show off how quiet the suppressor is at first. Let's just let's just see if we can. We'll shoot out to 300 yards there. I hit the tree. Now, if we want to hear really quiet, I'm going to actually hold the bolt closed. Hit the tree again. But that is just cool, huh? Okay, so that's a 160-yard buffalo. So here we go. Let's do a rough a rough uh, test. This is a Zero Tech Optics. Uh, this is called their Thrive. But what we'll do is we're going to unlock our cover every shot and see if we're still on, let's see, about 25 yards, that same dueling tree I was hitting. Let's see. All right, I'm going to take it off, put it back on, try again. Still on again. All right, so now out there let's try to hit that that buffalo again at 160 yards i think it was about two foot hold nice so we're not seeing any big shift in zero we're not seeing any shift in zero but of course this is just a red dot let's put the optic on we are going to go ahead and just pull this extra rail off and you can just buy the extra rails which i think is a cool way to uh avoid remounting things because honestly this optics right here is kind of heavy it's a crimson trace but this little red dot if I was packing this in a lightweight survival rifle, I would want a tiny red dot for lack of space and uh, j just being lightweight. Oh, we're going to put 10 rounds on it, and then we're going to do another 10 round test by removing the optic every single time. Oh, snap! Okay, <laughs> oh, snap was 
and I shot my 10 rounds, this reticle so big, I can't see. And then I moved off target and I see a ragged hole dead center. That was a cool group. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing, but we're gonna remove and put the optic back on every time this is at 50 yards. Oh, I guess we'll do it once in the first place. There's one. All right. And honestly, this probably isn't the the best we should probably when you normally remove optics from a rail um it was like on my iwi galil you're supposed to run the charging handle a few times or something so everything settles into place we're not giving it that option so well at least try to kind of whack it around see if that settles something because because we may find that second shot actually zeroes in Okay, let's go see what we did. So this group is just phenomenal. I mean, we've got two uh, shots outside, but then we have eight shots pretty much just making that one big ragged hole. So that was cool. Now we're moving and replacing our rail every time. It opened up, it, it about doubled in size. But again, I wanna see, okay, we won't touch it. We'll go back and shoot another group and, and see what that does. Because while that's acceptable for a survival rifle, um, why is it doing that? You know, is it, I think it may just not be settling down because we just slapped the scope on, shot this group, but this is removing it every single shot. It looks good from here. It may just be that it is a, a touch higher than the original zero. What I want to do is remove the barrel and put the barrel back in and then shoot a shot or two. So we'll do, we'll do that two shots every time I remove. All right, now what is it gonna do? Oh, cool. So if I pull it back just enough, of course it extracted the round out. And so it's still in there as long as I hold it and I can put it back together and uh, we go again. Okay, remove. Okay, pull it back together. I'm seeing a good group. I am not, it, it does look like it shifted a little, but it's a good group, which is cool. And that should be it. This was our 10 round group after we just let the scope settle and not mess around with it anymore. It is about a half inch higher than I think my earlier group was because I think we were almost all in the X ring. But that group is amazing. That buyer barrel is doing its job. This was removing the barrel every two shots. Still acceptable. Probably if we shot it five rounds or so and really made it settle in, it would work. So I guess you can't like put it together and know with 100% that you're gonna hit a squirrel in the head at 50 yards. But if you're going for you know, a rabbit at 50 yards or 75 yards, you're still gonna hit it with that thing. So acceptable for a survival rifle like it is. 270 yards out there, actually like 275 from where we stand. We're gonna, this furthest steel, let's see if we can whack it. <laughs> nice! Okay, and the green light means it's a good hit. So but what we wanted to go over was this awesome suppressor we're using today. As you can tell, it's really quiet. This is the Otter Creek Titanium Suppressor. They name their suppressors a lot over the periodic table of elements, and the titanium seem fitting to have a completely titanium can. The neat part is it's very comparable in price and weight and size to all the other mainstream suppressors out there. You're talking Rugged Oculus, YHM, um, Silencer Co., all those. But a lot of those are aluminum and stainless steel they may have a little bit of titanium in it this one's a hundred percent and it's stinking quiet it's also simple but the baffle stack i really like on the inside we're going to show you it has a sealed skirted baffles and i have been shooting this hundreds of times and it's dirty we have just a little bit of caking up but when you have solid titanium baffles we can do anything we want with them we can we can blast them we can dip them in ultrasonic use any type of chemicals and it's not going to mess it up and they stack really nicely and there's you got to rotate it till you find the ridge 
there it is. And so now they're all sealed up. And so the clips are all aligned. And that's as simple as it is. You, the, all baffles are the same except for the end baffle here. So we're going to just get this rotated, find the spot. And this is our baffle stack. This simple, this easy. And all that lead is just wiping off onto my fingertips. So it's coming clean that easily. But for just a little over 400 bucks, a little over five inches, and no first round pop, I think it's pretty awesome. So we're going to do some comparisons because it is full auto rated. It is rated for five seven full auto short barrel uh, and so uh, I did bring a five seven so let's play this five seven banshee I don't know 10 inch barrel or so but now we have that um, a titanium suppressor on it let's see what it sounds like I'm just gonna shoot down range You know, it's it's not when you're used to five five six. Uh, five seven is a kind of a cool round. Now let's not shoot all the way down range because of the ballistic crack. Cool. All right, let's see. I, I've heard it works with this. <laughs> nice. I have Detroit Ammo Subsonic. I don't think they cycle, especially with these buffer weights in. But the first one's gonna be super, and then it's gonna be sub. <gasps> Wait, it kicked it out. Did it really work? It's cycling subs. That's awesome. Let's shoot them down range. Twenty-two, but rapid fire with this titanium suppressor. <laughs> nice. I think some of those are supersonic, though. So I hear a lot in the comments. Oh, you're gonna suppress a twenty-two? Why do that? It's it really is loud, especially out of a pistol. So we're gonna shoot out of these four and a half inch uh, barrels. This is of course unsuppressed. Do I really need to lead into that? And now suppressed. Okay. Nice. Nice. It matters. Here I have my Gymtech Outback 2D because this will give you a good idea of first round pop. So we're gonna shoot it twice. Still loud. Little quieter. But now listen to the titanium. Quieter on all accounts and no noticeable first round pop. I love that Otter Creek Labs. It's, it's, it's sounding great. I know it was obvious when I took it apart, but this Otter Creek Labs suppressor needs no tools. It doesn't even come with it. It just says, hey, get a $3 flat wrench and that's it, adjustable wrench. And we just took the cap off. If it gets stuck, you just have wrench flats there. It's just easy, it's simple, but it's quiet and titanium. Yeah, that's gonna last for a while. But back to the gun itself. Uh, some of the features of this, we have a buyer barrel this is a ultra light match barrel so it looks like it's a heavy one but it's not it's it's very lightweight with this magpul stock it was genius to them you also have a compartment inside the grip here but of course the magazine storage is just super legit fletcher rifle works will ship it with a bx trigger or a binary trigger so that choice is yours so you have a stainless steel polished match bolt here and a skeleton uh, charging handle which is probably necessary to have just a little bit of a skeletonized cover so you can actually get it out without taking the rifle apart. An upgraded firing pin. With this Zero Tech optic, um, it mounts on three pieces of rail. So I had to mount it on the cover itself. However, if we didn't want to do that, we could just use the rail pieces that are on here in the first place. And this Fox Army Optics only uses one piece of rail, so we can mount it up here on that rail, but still be able to pull our cover out underneath. So that's an option for you if you were going that route. And honestly, a smaller red dot on a survival rifle would just make sense in the first place. But if you want to know more, you can go over to FletcherRW.com and check out all their options. They have, of course, the takedown as well as the original that we also love so much. Um, Otter Creek Labs is uh, going to be shipping their titanium suppressors by the end of the month. So check them out. Thanks for watching today, guys. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye.